Amazon River. Even school children know it as the world's largest river, but it is not just a river. The Amazon Basin is the size of the entire continent of Australia. Also, the Amazon River travels more than 6,000 kilometers, but not a single bridge has been built across it. Every 24 hours, the Amazon River carries a large capacity of water to the ocean. This water capacity can meet the water needs of New Yorkers for 12 consecutive years. There is even a mysterious dark companion to support this great river. There is an underground water stream under this which has not been revealed in any way until now. With the size of this station, it looks like a different world. The Amazon River and forest are literally called the world's genetic pool. One third of all biological species live here. And new animals are discovered every day. Many giant monsters lived here in prehistoric times and scientists have found many of their fossils. We can also see traces of ancient cultures. We do not know where these designers came from and where they went. Let's talk about all this in this video. The Amazon River is a huge waterway stretching 6,275 kilometers, making it the longest river in the world. It is formed by the confluence of many small rivers. Each of them has a name and special characteristics. However, now you say that the Nile River in Africa is the longest river in the world. It's a really controversial issue. Because scientists have different methods to measure the length of a river. The Amazon River can have different lengths from where you start your journey. For example, if you consider the Maranon River as the source of the Amazon River, the Amazon River is 6,400 kilometers long. If you take the Apache River as its source, the Amazon River exceeds the length of the Nile and extends to 6,992 kilometers. If you take the Ukiali River further, the Amazon River is 7,100 kilometers long. Then you will understand that the Amazon is longer than the Nile. The Amazon River is so big that it changes its name six times from west to east. In fact, people have given him different names. The locals in the middle part of it call this Sulamos. Only the last straight part, which is one-third of the Amazon River, is known as the Amazon River. This system is fed by many tributaries which contribute to its enormous volume and biodiversity. The Amazon River has many tributaries and are named rivers according to their nature. For example, the water of Rio Negro is black. The water of Madeira River is red in color. The Amazon Basin is a large lowland area covered with rainforests that occupies the northern part of South America. The Amazon Basin covers about 6.5 million square kilometers. It is about 5% of the Earth's land. For comparison, Australia is a country of 7.7 .7 million square kilometers. So you can imagine the size of the Amazon Basin. The Amazon River is very deep and from where it falls into the sea, even ocean-going ships can travel up to 4,000 kilometers. The deepest point of the river reaches 100 meters. The Amazon River has a long and complex history spanning millions of years. It begins as a continental river in the Miocene period 11 million years ago. It took its present shape in the early Pleistocene era about 2.5 million years ago. But before that, the river has changed its course many times. At one point, the river has even changed its direction. It has been an inland sea for some time. During the Pretession, the Amazon was part of the pro-Amazon river that flowed westward from the interior of present-day Africa. Wait a minute, now you might be wondering how the Amazon river is connected to Africa. As you may not know, the Amazon river has traveled from one continent to another in the past. It's hard to believe, but it's true. At that time, these two large continents were joined together to form Gondwana. 80 million years ago these two continents separated. 15 million years ago, the Andes Mountains were uplifted, causing the Amazon River to flow downstream. The Amazon River was formed by the movement of the Nazca Tectonic Plate, which slid under the South American Tectonic Plate and lifted the Andes Mountains. The rock shields of the Andes, Brazil and Guyana have blocked the river and turned the Amazon Basin into a vast inland sea. With the passage of time, this sea turned into a freshwater lake with marshes. Here, marine animals have adapted to fresh water. About 10 million years ago, the water broke through the sandstone from the west, and the Amazon River began to reverse its previous direction to the east. By then, the Amazon River had become a rich reservoir of life and diversity. 
But while the river was changing on the surface, something else was happening underground. And scientists have not known about this until recently. At a conference in Rio de Janeiro in 2011, a group of scientists released the results of a geological survey of the Amazon basin. This report caused great interest and debate among scientists. These researchers had presented the data of 240 old oil fields in the area in this paper. Also, these scientists have discovered that there is a huge underground water flow under the Amazon River. But this is at a depth of 4 kilometers. They named this phenomenon after Hamza who discovered it. Hamza River, but it is rather difficult to call it a river. This has moved in the direction of Amazon. But the similarities end there. The main difference is the speed and width of this water flow. The Amazon River is from 1 to 100 kilometers wide. But the Hamsa River is 100 to 400 kilometers wide. This underground river is about 3,500 kilometers long. It flows very slowly. The average speed of the Amazon River is about 5 meters per second. But Hamza's speed is less than a millimeter per second. It is more like a glacier than a river. Even Walia Hamza has accepted that it is not appropriate to call it a river. But this has a large capacity and it joins the Atlantic Ocean. It releases about 3,000 cubic meters of water. Like a twin brother in the Amazon River, the Hamza travels from west to east. Hamza and Amazon are an unusual geological system of two rivers flowing at different levels of the Earth's surface. But as strange as these rivers are, there are many more fascinating and terrifying things about this region. You are seeing a fossil of a snake. This is not so clear. This is actually a part of the largest snake that ever lived. You may think that there are huge snakes like anaconda in this forest today, and you are right. But this vertebrate is bigger than anaconda. Check out this comparison. How's that? This bone belongs to a prehistoric beast called Titanoboa that lived in what is now Colombia, a few million years after the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs. So this snake is huge. His length is about 15 meters. And the weight is more than one ton. Today's longest snake, the reticulate python is about a foot wide and about 7 meters long. You might think that this titanoboa would have eaten large turtles and even crocodiles. But actually he has eaten mostly fish. It's been a long time since titanoboa died, but there are many animals in the Amazon that you need to save. About 100 species of poisonous frogs live in the Amazon. Some of them can kill you with one touch. Animals such as crocodiles, venomous snakes, vampire bats, anacondas, piranhas and electric eels live here. The world's largest spiders also live here. They are one of the most venomous spiders in the world. These spiders are very dangerous. Bullet ants also live here. They make a very painful bite and the pain lasts for days. They are called bullet ants because their supply feels like a bullet. In fact, even sharks come from the ocean to the Amazon River. It is difficult to imagine how some human tribes can live in such a place. Those guys have their own cultures and they don't want to mix with civilizations. But they have lived here for a long time and are still living here. Archaeologists are still searching for traces of these ancient civilizations. Scientists have discovered an abandoned structure about 600 years ago. It was covered by dense forest. The discovery of this culture started about 20 years ago. It was found in the area known as Llanos de Mojos. This area is a plain land that gets flooded during the rainy season. It is underwater for several months every year. This has been going on for hundreds of years. This looks like a bad place to live. But scientists have found here the signs of an ancient civilization that lived there before Columbus came to America. Scientists have named this as Kassara's village. There are artificially created mounds, canals and roads of this culture. These are very long and straight. This village had spread over 16,000 square kilometers. Scientists have found that these ruins are the ruins of pyramids and other buildings. But beneath the trees of the Amazon basin, there were many more discoveries. Scientists used the latest technology to examine the ruins under these trees. With this technology, an accurate 3D map of this area was created. With that, 
Scientists found that the topography of two areas of 117 hectares and 315 hectares is very complex. They don't even know how many people lived here. But scientists think they are a large and organized group. However, this is the first time that scientists have found this type of settlement in the Amazon basin. The researcher said this discovery is just the beginning of investigations in this area. Scientists want to find out where these people came from and where they went. But why did they leave it here? This is a huge mystery. There are many such mysteries in the Amazon basin. So anyway, finding the answer to this can be even more interesting. I think you have learned a lot about the Amazon River. There are more descriptive videos about the Amazon forest on my channel. I invite you to see it. The link to those videos is in the description. So with this we come to the end of our video. Thank you for joining today's video. Have a lucky day.